This weekend, Ocean Drive is a sea of red, white, and blue. It's all part of the Rotary Club's Flags for Heroes event. Chris 6 News reporter Catherine McGinty tells us about this Veterans Day tradition. For many, Ocean Drive is a part of their daily commute. But for Julian Hernandez on this Veterans Day weekend, it's his destination. He traveled nearly 1,700 miles to see the flag honoring his late father. We want to honor our servicemen, especially my dad for his uh, long career, 33 years in the Air Force, senior master sergeant. Honoring heroes like Julian's dad, that's why the Rotary Club of Corpus Christi places flags along Ocean Drive, a part of a project called Fall Flags for Heroes. We love our veterans. I am the widow of a veteran, and we do this in their honor and all of our heroes. Last year, the group placed 660 flags along Ocean Drive. This year, there are a total of 1,000 flags on display. Each flag has a tag attached with the name of the person it's in honor of, along with the sponsor's name. It can be for anybody that is your hero. So we're honoring the heroes of the citizens of Corpus Christi. Robert Blackett's hero is also his father, a survivor of Pearl Harbor. I'm proud of the flag, and, and uh, I'm. This is beautiful. All of these flags flying, an American flag, beautiful. Over the next week, a drive down the bayfront will serve as a powerful and personal reminder for many. I'm thankful that uh, we can be part of it, and we love this country and what it stands for, and all of those that sacrifice so much for us. Catherine McGinty, Chris Six News. All right, Catherine, thank you. And some flags still aren't sponsored. If you're interested in sponsoring a flag, you can find more information at ChrisTV.com. And Monday, the aviator statue at Ropes Park hosts a dedication. Those flags will stay up along Ocean Drive for a week.